All right, fellas, fun Friday time. Are you ready to go? I sure hope you are. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with digging into the word. Okay, so for this week, we've been looking at the book of Second Peter. Second Peter, where does that come? At the first Peter, obviously, in verse chapter one, we're going to look at two verses, verse three and verse four. OK, it says for his divine power has granted to us everything pertaining to life and godliness through the true knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence through through these. He has granted to us his precious and magnificent promises so that by them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world on account of lust. Guys, that last piece of this verse, of this scripture rather, that is what it talks about. You got to escape the corruption that is in the world on account of lust. Lust is out there. Lust is real. And lust is taking so many men down. I'm telling you, we know that the battle is on, but I also know that the battle can be over. So if you had, did not listen to that conversation that came out on Wednesday with Fred Stoker, go back. I'm telling you, even if you're not struggling with sexual impurity, Someone that you're going to run run into, someone in your life is, and you got to be able to be amped up and guarded up and ready to help them when these situations arise. So listening to experts like Fred and learning from them, these tools, that these, these tips that will help you in those moments serve others, that's what it's all about. Now, if you're a dad and you're, and you, and you're out there and you're raising sons or daughters, it does not matter. Listen to how Fred raised his children. Listen to the areas of the life that he was very intentional about around having conversations and not awkward conversations where everybody's sweating and looking down at their feet. No, these were intentional conversations that opened up dialogue that literally changed the path of their lives. All four of their kids. Unreal, fellas, on what was going on here. Again, he's 30 years uh, of being sexual pure himself. So to say he's just he's not just talking to talk. This guy, he is walking it out. And walking it out big time and making a huge impact on those around them. So hopefully you guys got a lot from that conversation. Love to hear some feedback from you. Again, support at the lionwithin.us. Send me an email. Let me know what you think. Let me know what questions you may have. Or if you just need re resources regarding stuff Fred and I talked about, I'll make sure you get hooked up. So just be sure to, to reach out. Be glad to help. All right. Now. Fun Friday time. Let's get into our tips, our health tip, well tip, and self tip. So our health, remember, this is a quick recap, mind and body. Wealth is going to be around career and finances. Self is going to be being better husbands and better dads, okay? Now our health tip, okay, this came from one of our members of our community. His name is Joey, Joey Basta. So he brought up this tip. He calls it TAP, T-A-P, turn away and pray. Okay, so for him, when he gets into a situation and and you can either tap out or you can tap into God for whenever or whatever comes your way. So sometimes the best thing we can do when things get up, start start getting real, start amping up or the temperature starts rising. Some of the best advice I can give you guys is you got to disconnect a little bit. And this turn away and pray, this tap, that's a great that, that's a great way to remember to do that. So you never know. You know, if you just respond, a knee jerk response usually is the wrong response. So instead of doing the wrong response, be more intentional. Take your time. Too many times we feel like we have to respond right now. Nothing says that you have to respond right in the moment on everything. So take your time, turn away, pray, ask for wisdom, ask for discernment, ask for guidance and direction, and let the Spirit have time to speak to you. So just remember that acronym, TAP, turn away and pray. Okay? All right. Now, wealth tip. Let's look at a list here. I've been thinking, I've been working through this book, Wealth Habits, and there's so many things here to share with you guys. But maybe you actually do a, a an itemized deduction on your taxes. Here are some business expenses. Maybe you're starting a small business that I want you to to really consider as you move forward. I'm just going to work through this list really quickly for you guys because these are things that you could commonly deduct as as genuine expenses, and I don't want you to miss an opportunity. OK, so it's not about, uh, 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 you know, trying to, to be elusive or things like that. But being smart with your with your taxes and your finances is good stewardship. And no matter what, good stewards is what I'm, is what I'm all about. Definitely what the, what the line within this is all about. OK, so here are some commonly deductive expenses, counting fees, advertising and marketing, bank charges, business entertainment, business insurance, commissions, 
sales costs, consulting expenses, continuing professional education costs, contract labor, credit and collection fees, delivery charges, dues and and subscriptions, electricity, employee benefit programs, equipment rentals, insurance, interest paid, internet subscriptions, domain names, and web hostings, legal fees, licenses, maintenance and repairs, office furniture, office supplies, pension and profit sharing plans, postage, printing and copy expenses, rent, salaries, wages, and comp, security, software, taxes, telephone, travel, and workman comp costs. Guys, a lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities right there to pick up some deductible expenses. So if any of those boxes in your mind were just checked and you don't know if you're collecting on those or you're, you're capturing them, get to work. Go get the documentation and get to work. For I know for the lion, I look at this list and a lot of these things check the box. And we're and you can bet your bottom dollar we're going to be very intentional about being good stewards and collecting these these deductions to be able to apply in the right in the right manner. Okay, so hopefully that list helped you guys. Now for our self tip, I want you to think about something that Fred talked about pretty openly. But we got to normalize talking about pornography and the effects of it in our home. Okay, you got to be age appropriate. Totally get it. But we can't water stuff down either. And they're never going to know the ramifications of of what exists if it's never addressed. If it's just kept in the dark, how are they going to know to be able to to respond when it when when it when it actually surfaces in their life? I know for me, I got three girls and a boy. Now, my old I got two older girls and two and two littles. But for these older ones, I'm having us have conversations now. I have to make sure they're aware. Of, of what people, uh, the, the evil that exists and really what people are after, you know, and, and how they're trying to take people down. And you know what? That means being a little weird. That means being a little direct. That means being very open and honest and vulnerable with them, but it's worth it. And I can't just sit back idly and let the world try to teach them because the world's going to teach them wrong. If you don't want to do anything, that's a, that, that in itself is a, is a response, but it's probably not the response that you want. Because if you don't do anything and you're going to rely on the world to teach them, guys, they're not going to teach them what you want them to learn. It's just not going to happen. So be intentional right here. I know the conversations are not fun. Sometimes they can be awkward. But Fred gave us some great advice on how to do that. Use resources. Use books. Be able to have conversations and not be something that you got to get all red in the face or blushing or sweating or, or heart racing. No. If you lead with the heart of empathy, to just actually care for your child and just share with them that you love them. And you know what? This may be uncomfortable, but I love you and I want to protect you and I want to be honest with you. You're going to create an opportunity. So when those things do come and they arise in their life, they're going to naturally want to come to you and have the conversation versus feeling like they have to hide it or that they're condemned or anything like that. So start normalizing these conversations around pornography and the effects that's out there, guys. And let's make that uh, an intentional area that we are leaning into as fathers. All right. So there are your three tips, guys. You got your health tip, self, well tip, and self. Remember that tap, turn away and pray. Check for that, for that well tip. Definitely think through that list of commonly deducted expenses and self tip. We need to start normalizing, talking about, about the por- pornography and the effects that it has in our home okay now the book of the week surprise 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 battle on battle over love this book guys i'm telling you this if this is one that you that you don't add i i I can't help you this is absolutely one of the most incredible books out there so far as uh, addressing the issues of sexual purity if you're dealing with this if you if you have children in your home this is a book you need to have bottom line you and your wife and your wife, your spouse, need to go through this book together, okay? So grab a copy of the book, Battle On, Battle Over. Go check out the, the links in the show notes. Go check out our Book of the Week page. Wherever you want to go, we'll have the information for you, okay? All right, now for our dad jokes this week. Got two dad jokes. You ready to rock and roll? All right, so dad jokes number one. How do you put a baby astronaut to sleep? You rock it. Come on, fellas. You ought to know better than that. All right, number two. There was a Roman emperor who never aged after he turned 19. His name was Constantine. (laughs) I don't know. I think that was pretty good. So number one, how do you put a baby astronaut to sleep? 
you rock it. Number two, there was a Roman emperor who never aged after he turned 19. His name was Constantine. There you go. So let me know which one you like the best. Again, you can follow us over on our show, on our social channels, uh, Instagram, Facebook, where we're most active, and YouTube as well. Be checking the YouTube out. We try to put shorts out every day, guys, to serve you, to give you some insight, to give you some wisdom, and also give you a little peek behind the curtain of what we're doing at the Lion. So just check that stuff out. Uh, give us a follow. That'd be great. And then love comments because we get a lot of negative comments too. Because anytime you put light stuff out in the world, uh, the haters are going to be out there. They're going to be talking about how, how, how terrible it is. So maybe you guys can help come, come alongside and give us a little bit of encouragement uh, with some of the things we're putting out there to serve you. Again, give you that light in this darkness. Okay. So the question of the week we talked about all week, do you yearn for freedom from sexual sin? Do you, or are you just okay kind of waddling in it? You know what? That's not okay. You know, it, it may be, you know what, you're saying, I'd rather do that than do so-and-so with my wife, you know, or step out on her or things like that. I'm telling you, guys, you're completely viewing this in the wrong lens. So get some clarity on this. Get this out of your life and step into the light. We're here to help you. All right. So give us a rating. Give us a review. Go check out the resources, guys. If you haven't got your hat yet or you never retreat shirt, what are you waiting on, fellas? This stuff is so comfortable. It's got the line within us on the sleeve right here. I never treat Proverbs 30, 30 on the, on the front guys, you can stand out. You can stand out in a crowd. You can, you can add this to open a conversation, get you your hat as well. Guys, we have all that stuff is in our store, but again, check out the lion within.us. That's the lion within.us. Don't forget to the go there. We've redesigned the website. There's so many things out there, resources, guys that are, you know, serve you and help you grow. Join our community. Again, 30 days free. You got nothing to lose. Hop into the community. See if it serves you well. Go check out our leadership coalition. That is leadership training that is going to be starting. This is for business leaders only. So put your application in. And if you apply, if you check the boxes, if you think we can help you, you will hear from me. But this is for business leaders who are ready to amp it up, who are ready to take the Bible and the, the leadership principles that the Bible teaches and apply it into their workplace. Not just for people in the in the in the, in the ministry. Now, if you're in the ministry, this will help you too. Trust me. But for guys that are in the secular workforce, this is going to amp you up. It's going to gear you up. It's going to get you ready to learn to how to be a leader, a true leader in your work in your workplace. Because I'm telling you, that is your mission field. All right, fellas, we well, get after it. Remember that Second Peter. Stay focused on that on those verses this week. Get that lust out of your life. Lean in, okay? You got to prune that stuff out. So if you need us, guys, need anything, hit me up. You know where you can find us over at the line within us. Have a great weekend. Stay strong, preferably. We'll see you again next week and keep unleashing the lion within. Are you ready to unlock your true potential? Introducing 30 Days to Unleash the Lion Within, a revolutionary series that will transform you into the leader God intends you to be. In just 30 days, you'll embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth. This free resource offers a series of messages, each packed with proven methods to simplify and apply God's Word to your life. Inside this series, you'll find practical strategies to unleash your leadership potential. You need to learn how to harness the power of God's wisdom and apply it to your everyday decisions. Discover how to lead with integrity, inspire others, and make a lasting impact. But this just isn't another series. It's a transformative experience that will help you find your purpose, ignite your passion, and unleash the lion within. So visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash to claim your free copy of this series. Don't wait any longer. Visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash and become the leader God intends you to be.